Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with an exciting new update and I'm um, going to talk about uh, Fluid Flux 2.0. So in the past guys, you've seen me do, do a tutorial uh, on how to use Fluid Flux and what you can do like with our confined spaces like rivers and uh, streams and things like that, right? But they've added something really, really cool and this is the coastline. So now starting off, you can just have uh, like a terrain of some kind and then add fluid flux and you're able to have an actual shoreline just like you see here which makes it so much easier because you don't have to simulate like where the water has to fill a certain area it just adds to it and look at that sunset and how it's uh, reacting to the water and this works with the uh, Unreal Engine 5.1 and 5.2 so which means all the beautiful lighting with lumen is going to be working great with this and it still retains its uh, physics uh, uh, capabilities you can see the boat right there floating in the water and uh, with this character interacting with the water in a fluid flux it looks amazing <laughs> i've been waiting for this update because I'm, i really i'm leaning more and more to using the unreal engine 5.2 for my short films and cinematics and also for my animated TV series, The Adventures of Nkosa and Nancha. So to so see this update coming out, uh, this is so awesome. Uh, thank you so much for the Imaginary Blend team. Uh, it's been a, a lot of work to get to this point, but uh, a lot of people, of course, have been asking for it. So which means, guys, if you have like scenes, like either from DAS 3D or even from the Unreal Engine Marketplace that have, for example, pirate kind of themes that you can be able to create like a nice ocean right so you could add ships in here you can get pirates you could add submarines if you have have like a military themed uh, project and you can add ships you know <laughs> it just makes it so much look like, much better when it comes to like simulating water and this is in real time and also like the underwater capability is amazing like you can actually see well, you know you feel like you're under the water with the way the water is uh like casting the shadows on you or even on the character that's under there and then the green tint and all that i highly highly recommend this now uh, of course the price is still the same it hasn't changed but i think guys if you were really are uh, looking to create like a short film that has realistic water paying the price of uh, the plugin right now as it is i think it's totally worth it because instead of uh, trying to create your own like blueprint or trying to use things that are not real time uh, you end up spending thousands of dollars with either paying a developer to do that or you could just buy something that is out it's working out of the box you know and they have the ability to add like sea life in here like fish and things like that so it's so much easier to use and i'm talking about again to all of you out there who are indie filmmakers that this is a cool way of uh, creating using like a, a real time plugin that you can put into a, an environment and render using the main, uh, movie render queue in the Unreal Engine 5.2. And so all the cool things that we, we, you are been looking forward to in the Unreal Engine 5.2, think about combining these with this plugin, right? So <laughs> I am so, so excited uh, to play with it. I'll definitely do a tutorial showing you how to, to use it. And uh, again, thank you so much for joining me today, man. Every single day, it's almost like you wake up and something new that is changing the way we tell stories has come onto the scene. And today we are definitely talking about Fluid Flux uh, 2.0. And let me show, uh, show you something, something else, else here. here. So these are some of the renders from that. You know, you get a, <laughs> yeah, a waterfall, right? It, it just adds so much realism to the environment. So, so neat. And uh, I think the ability to have characters interacting with the water is one of the selling features for me to be able to do like wakes and things like that. So man when you get a chance guys uh if you have the budget for it and i'm talking about if you have reached a point where now you're ready to render your final film and i think this is gonna be a worthwhile invest for it for sure so thank you again for joining me today today we're talking about fluid flux 2.0 and the updates that is they've added to it to support cost lines so now you can take your environments all those uh, core environments that you've been working with and thinking outside of the box you know to make something really cool 
and add fluid flux to it and still enjoy the ability to use physics, you know, for rivers downstream and, and into the ocean. And that's where the coastline comes in. So, so, so cool. Uh, again, if you're new to my channel, guys, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. What a time to be alive. <laughs> it's so so amazing thank you so much for joining me today guys i dare to dream big and as always i'm praying for you stay safe much love and bye for now